beautiful people. My name is Milka and welcome to Mega Stitches. Uh, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. I'm here for a cross stitch update. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome too. <laughs> um, I have a couple of finishes. I'm going to get to the point today. I'm not going to, you know, ramble a lot. Well, I hope that I don't ramble a lot, um, but I have a couple finishes. I haven't done many purchases. Um, it is, oh gosh, you see, I forget. Today is <laughs> Sunday, June the 2nd, and it is uh, 4th of July weekend. So we're hearing a lot of fireworks and someone here is going insane. So y'all already know, take your headphones out. It's going to be crinkly because I have stuff in Ziploc bags and, you know, enjoy. I hope that you like what you see. Anyways, um, since the last time you guys saw me, I wanted to finish the Tree Frog Trio, which is this one. It's a dimension kit. And I did. I started this because Candy, the 614 stitcher, was stitching it. And I finished it. It's all pressed and ready to put into a little pillow. I was thinking about pairing it with this fabric, which will go very, very nice. One more time. They're so freaking cute. Like, I love them. Anyways, that was that. Then, um, I went to Cincinnati because it was a StitchCon weekend. I was not planning of go on going to StitchCon, but uh, I did want to see my friends. So I did go to Cincinnati, and Cincinnati is literally like an hour and a half from me. So... I was like, you know what, let me just drive down there and there's no opportunity for me to see majority of my friends. So I took the chance and I was like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to go. And anyways, I went and saw a lot of people, a lot of people that I missed. <laughs> I took... um Meditation Garden by Janet Jix. Uh, Hicks, <laughs> sorry. And I did work on it there. Uh, just not to prolong the story, but I did find Brenda. And... Oh, gosh. Colette and Kimberly. So, Brenda from Handwork Mania, Colette... And I forget Colette's YouTube uh, channel. I apologize, Colette. But I found uh, Brenda, Colette, and Kimberly. And they were stitching in the, at the Hyatt um, lobby. And I was just stitching with them. I took Meditation Garden. It was not finished. But, you know, we had to take the picture with my friends. And we all started together last year at StitchCon. And we... You know, we had a goal to finish it this year. Uh, some of us did finish it, but I didn't. But it gave me motivation to finish it as soon as I saw all those beautiful FFOs, uh, fully finished objects, or just finish. And I have an iron this because it's, <laughs> I literally finished it and put it in the bag and left it like on top of this desk where I just lay everything um that i'm going to actually like show y'all <laughs> whenever i'm ready to make a floss tube but here it is it is stunning i love it love it love it love it hopefully you can see it i'm gonna give you a little bit of a close-up but um if you wanna like see it like very close up you can go to my instagram it's mega stitches 24 and you can see it there. It's very, very nice. And that's my picture. <laughs> I love it. Um, 
yeah i mean this piece meant a lot to me meditation like i posted on my instagram was one of the things that kept me going when i was in distress um you know and like for two or three years very very like down and depressed and anxiety and all that you know all that stuff <laughs> so uh, meditation helped me get out of it and i just had like a lot of sentiment in this piece that's why i selected it sorry for that my phone is dying anyways um I know you guys are probably tired, but this, these were the threads that I used. I had a lot left. <laughs> I was using 40 count um, uh, Atomic Ranch in the color. I have it safe here so I can tell you. In the color Freeze. This was the color. 46 count linen. And this um charm or scissor fob was by, uh, by um stacy um she was my small sex change at stitchcon 2022 and these are all the floss scars that i got at stitchcon so it was a very very um uh, meaningful you know piece to me I really, really loved it, and it reminded me of all my friends. Um, I also discovered something. <laughs> so, funny story. I was at, you know, stitching with my stitchy friends um, at the Hyatt, and I <laughs> I saw Jennifer from Crickerwood Cric Crossing, and I have had this bag that I bought there, for this project i just thought it was cute nothing to be with a the theme but i just loved it but i didn't have any maker and i've been telling y'all you know i don't know who made it <laughs> this is a very beautiful bag well she made it and she's talking to brenda and uh to colette and kimberly and i'm like i kind of know her but i don't know you know and she's like whose bag is this and i'm like it's mine She's like, I feel like I recognize that bag. I think I made that bag. <laughs> so, yeah. I put a face to the designer. So, Jennifer, thank you for making an amazing, amazing bag. Um, I also heard that she's uh, designing Crossage now. So, go check her out on her Instagram. That's pretty, pretty sweet. Then... Uh, this is fresh from the hoop. I finished this one yesterday. Uh, a lot of y'all been following me on Instagram on the progress. The backstitch was a struggle. But, uh, I mean, I got over it and did it. Um, this is Frida. And she's stunning. I love her. I love her brows. I love her lashes. Um, uh, she has so many like beautiful details from the Mexican culture. Um, I'm not Mexican, but I appreciate culture of other countries. Like I really, really like it. I don't know. I'm into that. Um, but, um, Frida was a Mexican painter, um, and she used to paint portraits of herself and she, i think she had like i don't think i know she had a painting uh with her and her heart exposed uh like in um you know like a dying portrait and a living portrait like a living heart and i appreciated the designer uh include that in this um pattern uh frida also had a lot of animals and one of them was a black cat uh, she had a black cat. She had monkeys. Um, oof. I forget what the other ones. But I'm excited. I mean, and these, like, orange flowers are very, very uh, known in um, the Mexican culture. Plus, like, the, the skulls. She has skulls here. Let me show you. So, she has skulls in her earrings. Um, in her uh, flowers on the top of her head. It's just stunning. 
Um, this is Frida from Little Room in the Attic. You, I bought this on Etsy, but uh, the designer, I guess she's not on Etsy anymore, but I did, I do follow her on Instagram and she, she has, like I linked her on all the pictures that I've had of this pattern on my uh, Instagram and uh, you can just click on it and it will, you know, if you click on her link that is on her profile, you can find this pattern and buy it if you want to stitch it. I'm just going to give you a heads up. This has crinic and a lot of backstitch and DMC. No beads, uh, no, no anything else, but um, it has six pages of backstitch. <laughs> oh, I graduated. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but just one look. Uh, if you really want a close up, like a really close up, I did record it. Uh, a little video clip or a reel on Instagram, you can look it up. But she is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And that is Frida. I love her. Someone asked me, like, oh, I want to see your FFO. And <laughs> Right now, I'm like just putting everything in a bed under the bed box <laughs> because I don't know if I'm going to stay here. So I don't want to frame too many things. You know, I don't know if I'm going to move or if I'm going to move out of the country. Like, I don't know where I'm going to go. So I don't want to be framing a lot of stuff until I'm like completely subtle. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but makes sense to me. Anyways, when I was at StitchCon, um, Sarah Star uh, told me, I asked, like, hey, is there a new stitch along? And she was like, yeah, we're doing a new stitch along, but it, we didn't want to do it so big because Meditation Garden was a big one. Um, it looks tiny on mine, but it was a big one. And um, she said, we're starting this one from Finally a Farm Girl, which uh, I believe uh, Finally a Farm Girl, she changed her either... I'm not sure if she has changed her name yet, but I know she's doing her floss with another person. I apologize. I don't have many information. I was not prepared for this floss tip today. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is the little pattern. Oh, so sorry. Actually, I shouldn't be showing this here. <laughs> this is the pattern. Can't show you the chart. Um, it says Matilda drives the stitch con, the stitch bus, the stitchy bus. And I saw this and how my mind works is like, oh my gosh, I want to find a toy bus, a red toy bus. And I'm going to, I don't know, cut it on the front, stitch this piece and just put the piece on the front. Or I can just buy the little toy bus um stitch only matilda which the, is the little um the little rat you know right like her and i don't know paint stitchy bus on the front and just like put it on inside the bus i don't know i have so many ideas and this <laughs> this is what happens when you have a lot of creativity like I don't want to be like oh you know on um, me but that's how my mind works like I just wanted to make a little stitchy bus like a real 3d stitchy bus not a not a pillow not a flat fold or anything like that but I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna do it anyways this is to be um to be continue I'm I have to kit it up and to think about it. I was thinking about dimensions too. So yeah. Work in progress. Tell me if you like that idea. Um, I most likely would just finish it. You know. Flat four or something like that. But. Again. It just. My mind goes like. 
I want to do this. I want to do that. Anyways, this was gifted to me by the beautiful Sarah, Sarah Star. Love you, Sarah. Thank you very much for giving me the pattern. That was so nice of you. You didn't really have to do that. Um, oh, oh my gosh. I am so horrible right now. She's going to kill me. I totally forgot who gave me this. I, I forgot her name. I have her Instagram in my mind. Like, I know who it is. I totally forgot her name. This is so bad of me. I'm gonna put it in the description box below because I feel embarrassed right now. Okay, so I saw this design. Um, Holly Hobby. So apparently Holly Hobby was a, a big thing here in the States. I've never seen it, but um, I saw her the person that gifted this pattern to me uh, stitched it in red. Um, is there a picture in red? Or she picked, I think she did it like in a, like an orange color, like fall colors. And I loved it. I love the fabric that she used. I love this pattern. I'm like, you know what? I want to stitch it too. Um, can I borrow it from you? And she was like, oh, I'll gift it to you. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> um, and so I started searching for this, right? And I found a boy pattern on looking at her, like facing her, like mirroring her. And well, my plan for this is to stitch the girl, right? And then stitch the boy looking at her. And it's very, very cute. I like it. I really like it. I will probably be doing it on the orange fall colors. Then I had another finish I forgot to tell you because I'm all over the place. Where is it? Here. Sorry for the crinkling. You know, I hope that I don't forget, but I don't think I show you all this. So I finished Butterfly Cloach by Liz Matthews. This is how it looks. This was um, a stitch along from 2021 at SitchCon. Actually, it was the first time I met Liz. She signed it for me, you see? This is not gonna be sent out to anybody. This is for me forever. And this is a 18 count Ada. And I, I dye myself, sorry, it's so crinkly. I haven't ironed any, anything. I stitched this also in hand. Um, some of the border butterflies I did uh, use a little hoop because um, the, I used two strands of DMC and it was quite, uh, you know, full I guess like you know <laughs> and you know something funny that happened to me you're not gonna notice but uh I did stitch the the x or the cross stitch in the wrong direction on this pattern in a butterfly <laughs> I was not paying attention and I was stitching away and I had the little I, I had like a little very little hoop and I turned the direction of the hoop and I was stitching it in the wrong direction you're not gonna notice it so I decided to leave it and yeah this butterfly clutch is very beautiful I love it love it love it love it like I still have to wash it and the way that I and the way that I um, hand dye my fabrics, at least at home, um, I can wash it after they're dyed and they're not, nothing is gonna happen to them because I use a, um, a settling dye. It's something that you, it's from the red dye, the red dye collection, I believe. Um, the dye will stay without getting out. I'm not sure. It's like the last process that I do. I don't remember the name. Anyways, 
that was that then i worked a little bit on like a cherry blossom not too much and this is by stitches through the years you can find her on etsy you um i don't have a color copy but this is how the pattern looks like um it's very beautiful it's the quote was what got me plus all the flowers around the pattern and it says your mind is a garden your thoughts are the seeds you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds so yeah just keep in mind everything that you put in your mind or that you let in your in your world right and i got to i got to here this uh, fabric was also hand dyed by me i'm using 40 cal linen and i'm using all the call all the call for color dmc's i feel like i stopped working on it because i have a blend and i'm using one strand because it's 40 cal so i can't like i can't do much about it so i've been looking for answers like a cherry blossom it's very pretty very very pretty i have to figure it out and continue and then uh, i hope i'm not missing anything i think this is all i've been working on i've been pretty monogamous lately oh i did finish the so i have the spring pillow i did finish the summer one i just don't know where it's at <laughs> oh wow Anyways, I'll show it to you next time. So the next uh, pattern that I've been, yeah, that's the back. <laughs> you don't want to see my back, it's messy. <laughs> the next pattern that I've been working on is because of the Brave. Um, this is a um, pattern that I thought about um, UFOing, um, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try to finish it or just continue stitching a little bit by little. Um, it's very patriotic because um, you, you guys know that I have, um, or maybe I'll say that I've been involved in, you know, like the military. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into that, but. Um, in the past, I wanted to be in the Navy. Mm, my ex-husband was in, well, is in the Air Force. So, yeah, and I wanted to stitch something for all the people that have served. It says, because of the, of the brave, it has two boots on fire and a, a big eagle. Um, it's a very big pattern, so it's going slow. This is on a 14 count. Wait, is it 14 count or 16 count? This is a 16 count, I believe. Um, Ada, Black Ada. And this was one of the patterns that I started with at the beginning of 2020. Um, you can tell because I was doing this gritting thing with sparkling thread, sulky sparkling thread that I got at Joanne's. I don't do that anymore. I really don't like it. Um, I tried to pull it out and I didn't like how the excess looked. Uh, some got moved and so and so. Um, so I'm trying, I'm getting better at counting without a grid. Uh, so I'm, that's what I'm doing because of the brave. Oh, and it, of course, you see the flag there. It's going to have a big flag. So, y'all, that's what I've been working on. Um, I was so happy to finish, you know, a couple of pieces that I've been, like, wanting to finish for a long time. And um, see my friends, like, oh, my gosh. That was, like, a, I don't know, like renewing my stitching vibe because i was like i don't know i didn't want it to stitch like too much and i was even telling my co-workers like i don't know what's going on it's 
it's very weird like i stitch every day and sometimes i don't even want to stitch so i guess i lost my stitchy bug for a minute um i still was stitching but just so slow you know what i mean but now i got back and um i've been working on all the projects that i love um i'm just gonna say my giveaway for my a thousand subscribers is still going on if you want to be enter um we're doing the nora corbett cleo this is the pattern and i will source all the dmcs and a fabric that i will hand dye for you um and of course i will draw this when i get to a thousand subscribers um I'm so grateful for all of your friendship. Like, you cannot even imagine. Like, <laughs> I am so grateful for all my new Stitcher friends, for all my older Stitcher friends. And when I say old, I don't say old in age. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. I, I'm just saying, like, you know, the, the people that I met, like, in 2021, 2020, which, you know, was when I really started coming back to cross stitch and they got me into the big rabbit hole. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do want to mention a couple of people that I met at um, Cincinnati when I went to visit. Sorry for that, some notification. Um, I saw Lynn, I saw Vervina, I, um, I saw Shayla and Faith. I didn't get to talk to them, but I saw them like, you know back next to us and i feel embarrassed to talk to them but uh, we're we're talking we're talking on instagram so <laughs> we're getting there anyways i'm i'm not an introvert i'm not gonna say i'm an, an introvert i really like to talk to a lot of people but sometimes i really really get very shy and depending how i feel like the person I will not approach you <laughs> because I can come off uh, too strong sometimes. I'm like, oh, hello. And you don't even know me. You know what I mean? I get that from my grandfather. He was like that. We used to go to, we used to go to the supermarket and you will find him talking like 30 minutes with somebody. He didn't even know. And... Yeah, I think I get that from him. But anyways, I, um, I, of course, I saw Sarah. I saw Jen. We went to lunch together. Um, I saw Tona. Um, I already mentioned that uh, I was stitching with Brenda, Handwork Mania, and Colette, and Kimberly. And uh, I saw Garen and Ronnie for the first time. Um candy candy is local to me and i still got to see her there i list matthews holly joe karen allison jameer like come on jameer alexis um i saw bridget and also megan and uh, maggie stephanie uh and jennifer i mean gosh i don't want to miss anybody but these are like a couple of people that I really interact for a minute, like more than just saying hello from far away. <laughs> and I remember, um, sometimes I got a bad memory. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I was just happy and grateful to see them. Um, uh, and nothing, life is the same. I've been working out, I've been uh, swimming, and it's been nice. I've I need to go because Luna is really freaked out by these fireworks, but I gotta go comfort her. <sighs> I hope your little babies are not cringing like that. But anyways, people, I really, really love y'all. Leave any comments. Um, oh, I forget to tell you. If you want to enter, just comment which, which <laughs> uh, on this uh, video. I will collect all of them. And then whenever I get to... 1k or 1000 subscribers i will draw a name anyways i love y'all besos uh lots of good vibes have a great great 
4th of July weekend and um, I hope to see you soon. Ciao. Bye bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you, please wait till the end so you can see a Luna video and um, a little reel that I created on Instagram uh, with all the pictures from Stitchcon. Enjoy.